That's a genuinely good question. <laughs> oh my goodness. No. Honestly. So I randomly thought of this video. It's nothing really special, but I just wanted to do a full Bella Swan transformation because I've dressed up as Bella Swan many, many times, but it's not like full Bella Swan. It's kind of my take on Bella Swan. Okay, so I looked up some Bella Swan inspiration photos. I like I don't know how to describe the way she dresses, but it's like kind of I don't know, like very 2008, you know. I don't really dress like that, so I didn't have much, but I think I can make it work. I think I'm going to go for her first movie look where she wears a headband all the time because I think that won't really, you know, make me look like her more than just like if I had my hair like this. And I'm going based off of the movies because in the books I uh, she wears, you know, khaki skirts and I don't have a khaki skirt. And then she wears like barely any makeup but she has very defined eyebrows. I feel like that's like her defining feature, at least for me. I always notice her eyebrows. I really like her eyebrows. She's very pale. I'm very pale. I think we have similar hair. I had, I got layers um, a couple months ago. They're kind of growing out, but I, uh, you know, she has layers pretty much Am I Bella Swan already. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna <laughs> do the hair because I literally don't have to do anything. I'm gonna try to do this picture. Um, she just has a headband. My guy. Anyway. like stay just stay there we go her hair is like curly but like kind of like naturally wavy so i might put a few curls in <laughs> why do i look like this my hair like goes out and it <laughs> it doesn't freaking work maybe i could bobby pin it oh that's a good idea i just ate the bobby pin i wish i got like I think I just ate some of the bobby pin. If you hear my dog literally s snoring, it's cause she's snoring. I think I'm like a mix between Bella and uh, Jessica. You know, anyone else get that vibe? Okay, makeup. There's dry shampoo on my hands. Okay, so Bella's freaking pale, like look at that. You can't even see it on camera because it's so pale. Just like my last video, I'm going to do some Twilight Q&A. My favorite book is Eclipse. It's my least favorite movie, actually. I don't know why. I just didn't like the movie that much. But I like the books. It gave a lot of information about parts of the book that were kind of confusing, I guess. My favorite movie is New Moon, for sure. I was Team Jacob the first time I watched the movies. And then I read the books and... I was not Team Jacob anymore. I am Team Jacob first two books. I am Team Edward the rest of the books. This is my theory. It's not a theory, it's like real. When Jacob cuts his hair, it goes wrong. Like, I know be that's when he turns into a wolf. His hair was beautiful and he shouldn't have cut it. Yeah, New Moon's my favorite movie. I've watched it one billion and two times. I also- oh. New Moon is also good because Arrow. Mm. New Moon is just good all around. Jacob and Volturi, you know. My second favorite movie would probably be Breaking Dawn Part 2. I like Breaking Dawn Part 1, like the first part. The not pregnant Bella, whatever. I like their honeymoon. I, I, I want that. I have made a vision board of my twilight wedding i'm gonna have a twilight wedding like playing chess on a beach sign me up i like breaking dawn part two because of the fight scene i know it doesn't like happen in the books but it's cool and it's actually the first before i watched twilight and knew what it was i saw that scene on tv one time um and i was like that looks stupid and it was so i actually only watched twilight like two years ago or maybe even a year ago and it was as a joke my parents were like let's watch twilight as a joke because they had watched it and it was bad you know and i was like sure i was immediately invested i the beginning i was like oh you know weird but then the baseball scene and then I, I fell in love and we were all laughing and making jokes about it the whole movie but then the baseball scene 
I was like, be quiet, shut up. I need to hear every single thing that happens after this point. Then that Christmas, I got the books, I got the movies, I got Twilight coloring books, you know? You know, the whole shebang. And now here I am. I'm trying to think of my favorite character, but I don't know. I don't really have a favorite. Like, like I like Bella, but I wouldn't say she's my favorite. Cause like, why? are two hot men fighting over her. Do I know how to do eyebrows? Absolutely not. Look at that. My favorite song from Twilight is From Now On. I didn't mean it. The Meadow. Super massive black hole. That is a bop. I like Friends. <gasps> Slow Life. <gasps> My favorite character is Charlie. I love Charlie. Charlie Swan. If you didn't actually know, I sung all the songs that I've used in you know my videos. For you! You're the queen of the superficial. How long before you tell the truth? Ooh, ooh, you set my soul alight. You probably couldn't even tell, you know, because they're so similar. I sing Possibility and Supermassive Black Hole. There's a possibility There's a possibility All that I know is a desire. I try to make it as accurate as possible. I actually like took vocal lessons for those um, and it paid off. I think. I actually almost got copyrighted because they were so accurate. Um, YouTube thought it was the real song, but obviously it wasn't, you know. Okay, I'll shut up now. Zooey mama. I really like Bella in the books. She is like way more functioning human being in the books. She like cooks for her dad and like they talk and stuff, but in the movies she's just like I'm so sad. In New Moon, when she's like all depressed and stuff, she, in the book, she's actually, she still does things, you know? That's kind of why I like the books better. Also, Edward is less creepy in the books, I think. He's still creepy, but like, less so. I guess he's more, he's like happier, I think. Like, he's not so dark and brooding. I don't know, more happier, and so I think it makes him better, personally speaking. I cannot blend eyeshadow for the life of me. Someone help me. <laughs> my favorite character to play in my remake of Twilight is Charlie too. He is just like a, such a dad and it's like so easy to play. Surprisingly, the hardest person to play is Bella because I just can't get into her vibe. Like I have to like act like Bella for a couple minutes before, you know, playing her. The easiest person to play is Edward because like he's he's i just like over the top exaggerate his creepiness and his dark and broodingness which i'm a hypocrite because i just talked about how the movies did that yeah i just like slap on that hat and i'm like bella got some brown mascara because bella's you know natural she just wakes up and puts on a headband and her khaki skirt and she goes to school oh shoot I'm currently still reading New Moon. I actually pre-ordered it, so I got it immediately when it came out. I'm not a slow reader, but it's hard to read. I love it, but I just like, it's not, I'm not like craving it, you know, like I was the original books. It's, it's definitely interesting seeing Edward's perspective, but big words I don't understand. Okay, I think we're done with Bella. Do I look like Bella? Hello? H hi? Kalia? Rude. Oh my gosh. Hi? This is as good as it's gonna get. It actually looks awful, but... Okay, now for the clothes. I picked out the most Bella-esque clothes I could. I'm gonna zoom out. That's Jimin. You can't really see, but this is like a mom shirt. I'm pretty sure it's my grandma's. Obviously, a flannel. I don't know how much she actually wears flannels, but she gives me she gives me fl fl flannel vibes. Okay, then I have this. It feels very Bella, you know, just like 
very 2000 shirt and then this you know self-explanatory then i don't know this just this sweater gave me bell vibes it's kind of like just yeah i don't know how to explain any of this and then finally we have obviously like when i think of bella i think of like a, a shirt and then a button up and you can see like the shirt from the bottom and like you know so i think i'm gonna go for that vibe probably like this like that look at that i could probably do that and she obviously wears jeans all the time should i do like that maybe let me try it okay so like this is it but i think this is like not tight enough oh to dress like bella swan each day i don't think these colors go together but neither do any of hers oh my gosh this is perfect yeah i think so but is this too light for her to wear should i wear this instead <gasps> oh and then i could put this underneath oh my gosh i got the fit guys i think we got it Layering is essential if you couldn't tell. Like, I would wear this. I know she doesn't wear skinny jeans, but then I gotta pull my shirt down super far, you know? I think we got it. I think we got it. Okay, this is the final look. that but there you go i think it turned out pretty good obviously i'm gonna turn into bella swan very many more times because i have to finish the series obviously really xena but this was like my full bella transformation i obviously don't really do this every time like i don't put on foundation ever but i think it turned out pretty good anyway um thanks for watching don't run off with your vampire boyfriend and leave your dad wondering where you are randomly um yeah, that's my advice to you. Anyway, bye. Bella Swan out. <laughs>